In Van Gogh's painting of the brothel in the Barnes Collection in Philadelphia, the space recedes obliquely at a steep angle, from the spreading yellows in the lower left to the more compact red in the upper right. Thus the design tilts like a seesaw, up on the right, where the shapes of the dancing couple are pushed up and back by the stool in front of them, and consequently down on the left. The central table, split by the fault line between the left and right halves, behind the woman in pink, is pushed up on the right by the warm purple shapes of the furniture, and descends on the left thanks to the visual weight of the horizontally axised bright shapes of the tabletop. The placement of the goblets accentuates the shift in the table. Everything on the canvas falls then into place in the counterclockwise flow, in two dimensions and in three. The pervading green tone unites the background and middle ground. The open color moves from the green trousers of the dancing soldier to the green wall, to the greens and the distant seated figures and turns to blue-green in the negative space bordering the head and neck of the seated woman in red. This woman in green is placed with just a few strokes of red-brown paint, sufficient to define her volume. She enables the green space to bound forward from the wall and coil in to the center of the scene where it climaxes in this green part of the tabletop and the absinthe glass. Meanwhile, the woman in red joins and interlocks with the woman in yellow. Note this red triangle and this red mouth on the axis of the other woman's collar. Notice how this curving white stroke dramatizes the relation between the red-sleeved arm and the bare arm below the yellow sleeve as a fan-like opening. The white curve measures the obtuse angle. The yellow lamp, in relation to the yellow table, gives amplitude to the foreground space. The pink dress, with its red accents, establishes the near edge in a quaternity, or diamond, of related colors this diamond being rotated in consonance with the counterclockwise movement of space. Observe how the tall drinking glass in the foreground bends and twists to adjust itself to the shape of yellow dress behind it. The top plane of the glass rectangulates as the left vertical edge is entrained to the woman's hand and wrist. As always in a masterpiece, the different layers of space interact dynamically in the picture plane. Another striking instance of this knitting together of spatial layers occurs on the right, where the shoe of the dancing soldier fits within an inverted triangle formed by a stool leg and the thigh and knee of the civilian clad in black. Another instance is seen in the left contours of this same man's head and shirt front which simultaneously serves as the right contour of the hair, neck, and shoulders of the pink-clad woman who sits nearer to us with her back toward the picture plane. 